Hey gang, what's going on? Matt from Matt's Red Show here. I'm super excited tonight because I got invited down by the guys at Brick Mania to come into their, their new grand headquarters of the entire country of Brick Mania's grand headquarters. Entire country, I just said that twice because it's really cool, is right here in, in Minneapolis and it's just opening next week actually, April 13th it's opening and it's gonna be open after that and you guys can come down and check out. These are some of the most incredible Legos that I've ever seen. Some of them are quite expensive. One of them is the world's largest in there. So we'll definitely take a look at that. It's the USS Missouri. And show you some other stuff too. Talk to the owner, maybe hear a little bit more about it and just check it out. But Legos today, Matt's Red Show guys. So we gotta check this place out, it's so cool. Thanks for uh, joining this episode guys and we will get into it. I'm Dan Siskin and you're at the Brickmania GHQ store. It's a brand new store we're opening in Northeast Minneapolis. Um, the grand opening is uh, April 13th, Saturday, April 13th. We'll have all kinds of activities. Um, you can win prizes. In fact, we're giving away a B-17 bomber. That B-17 bombers were $1,700, but the USS Missouri, the, the world's largest Lego battleship is on display. Uh, on other ships, we have over 500 models actually, mostly historic. Uh, World War II or uh, similar models built out of Legos to stuff you will not see anywhere else. So Brick Mania has been around for about 20 years now. This is our 20th year. We, I know, I've been I've been doing this since <laughs> for, for for a long time. Mm -hmm. Started out in my basement building custom Lego sets just just for fun. Uh, there was nobody doing it at the time, and and I and I just you know I'm a builder. I want to share my models. People wanted my models. They they, they saw them on on the internet and said, Hey, can you make some more of those? And that's what I did. I started selling stuff on the internet, and over the years it's grown into this this you know sort of a whole contingent of really awesome builders building stuff. Um, you know, we make sets, we make displays, and, and Brick Mania is just sort of the culmination of all these, these this passion that we have to build the, the next level buildings. This is the Brick Mania HQ. We have stuff all over. We have a store in Chicago, but really right here, you're in the headquarters of Brick Mania. This is, this is where all the magic happens. And, uh, people have come to our warehouse and come to our space and seen our open houses. We're like, well, we want to we want to make a store that people come and see these creations. We have big mosaics that we have uh, that we've worked on over the years. Histo mostly historic models. We have a 25 foot long USS Missouri, the battleship. Uh, this is a big museum piece. It was traveled around the country, and we finally decided we're gonna leave, you know, set it up permanently at the the Brick Mania GHQ store. Uh, one wall, like a, a wall of display cases, is about 500 different 
Brickmania models, model kits that are discontinued or otherwise just unavailable for, for purchase. Just the only way you're gonna see them is to come here and see them. Well, we're, we're passionate builders. We love to build. We've built everything from you know, historic models. We do, we like to do architecture. We have the, the big First Avenue model here. Uh, it's on display. It's, uh, you know, it's just part of my background. I've been going to First Avenue for, for well over 20 years. And um, that's on display right now. It's actually going to be going into a his, uh, exhibit uh, at the Minnesota Historical Society. So if you want to see it now before it disappears into uh, a museum, um, <laughs> it's a good time to see it now.
can you talk about maybe some of the are, are the Easter eggs on the Missouri gonna stay there forever or what are some? Well, of them? we're doing some we're doing some special Easter eggs. It's, it's part of a scavenger hunt. So, like I mentioned, we're giving away this big bomber. It's a, it's, it's a giant set that we, you know, it, it's it's a like a four thousand piece Lego set, and we're giving one away. And part of what if you want to enter to win, you have to do a scavenger hunt. And part of it that scavenger hunt is set up on the USS Missouri, so they have. But they call the easy eight. There's eight easy figures you have to find, and they have it progressively goes at different levels. Um, so yeah, there's there's a lot of Easter eggs. Um, there's some permanent ones like the share Easter egg. There's a uh, you know everything that's the USS Missouri. Not only was it where World War II ended on the deck when the Japanese signed the surrender in Tokyo Bay, but it's been in share. It had a video on it. There's uh, it's been Steven Seagal movies. You know it's it's been in all these different things. So we try to incorporate that into the into the build because it just makes it more fun, more interesting. One of the cool things that we have on display is the family truckster kit. Uh, we made it uh, sort of as a challenge from Bev D'Angelo from the, uh, you know, the whole vacation movies. Uh, we asked, hey, if we make a family truckster, you know, just a small batch of kits, would you autograph one? She said, yeah, sure. Um, her kids were into uh, the Brickmania stuff, and, and so this is how we met her. So we ended up sending her one. She said, oh, send another one. I'll get Chevy to, to, to sign one too. So she ended up actually autographing a kit Chevy Chase autographed and then sent the original copy back to us. She actually showed up in person. Uh, one of the funny things, I mean, I don't know if it's funny, but it's kind of ironic, that about a year later, uh, we were listening to KQ92 radio, of all things, and Bev D'Angelo was on there, and she was supposed to be promoting one of her new movies, and all she did was like, oh, where are you guys from? Where are you calling from? Well, from, from KQ or in Minneapolis. Oh, Minneapolis, that's a great place. I know those guys from Brickmania. And she spent the whole entire interview talking about Brickmania, didn't even talk about the movie she was promoting. <laughs> that's awesome. Lego is, is, a, is a passion of a lot of people and, and Brick Mania, we just like to take things to the next level. So we have builds and stuff that we take to the next level and we're opening a space that we will invite, um, you know, not just show off our own, you know, creations, but we will be doing uh, gallery exhibits, things like that, it's just, just to show off the, the builds of the community. And come check it out before we, uh, you know, we fill it up. Awesome. Thanks, man. Well, thanks for having me out. Yeah, thank you. Alrighty guys, well, that's it. Brick Mania. Say goodbye. Bye Brick Mania. I will probably be back. Oh, this is a big old door here. I got a huge door. Well, thanks for joining me in this episode of Master Red Show, guys. Appreciate it. Please click like and subscribe and share this video with all your friends, all your relatives, your neighbor. Go over to their house, knock on their door, and say, hey, you gotta check out this video. It's really cool. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this. And we will talk to you later. Okay, bye.